Maple is Sandman. Um, hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing today? Hope everyone's well after the emotional terrorism done last night. Um, we are uh, we're gonna get back on Maple and see the fallout of everything that we did yesterday. We have telegrams. We'll see. Um, we're a little late today. Uh, I woke up super fucking late. Um, I was absolutely exhausted after, uh, you know, this morning. Uh, the emotional RP was very draining for one, and then work was also absolutely exhausting. Um, so, I only just woke up recently. Um, Yeah, we'll uh, get to things tonight. Hopefully we get some late night stuff. We'll see. With the bastards all being locked up, I doubt that's going to be the case. But maybe, uh, hopefully some other groups will come to light. That test job with Ronnie. Thank you so much, Lincoln. I appreciate it. It was, uh, it was really crazy. It was very sad, but, um, it, it very much felt right. And that's, that's probably the second, uh, he did. It was actually amazing, honestly. Here. There's a fairy in a blackwater in five minutes for five dollars. Okay, there's a blackwater fairy. Maybe we'll get on that. Um. So, Ronnie's the second character I've ever, like, permed. Um. Let's see here. Oh man. Sean, I ended my night safe at sound. No injuries. I did get selected to go with a hunting group of seniors and sheriffs, and there was conflict, but I emerged okay. I've been quite lucky as of late. All is well. Sylvie, this was on the second. Good morning. Working for a couple hours today. Not sure what I intend to do after that. Thankfully, all seems quiet, so it might end up being a relaxing shift. See you soon. This was the second again. <laughs> this would have been this would have been yesterday, and then in the morning. <laughs> I was wrong, unfortunately, injured, but I will be okay. I was caught out and I, and couldn't retreat. I will be fine, but I'm taking a while off. Let me know if you'd like to spend time. I'll be Blackwater at one of the hotels for a day or two, and then I'll go back home. Knock on my door if you want. Sylvie. Damn, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, shit. Goddamn bastards. <laughs> um. Um, um, that, um, Actually, wait, hold on. Copy. Okay, she sent that. She sent this this morning. Be in Blackwater in the hotels for a day or two, and then go back home. Okay. Um, I had to hear all things considered. You will be all right. I'll be around on duty tonight. Hopefully, we can spend some time together Friday night. It's been a while. I don't want to rush you back on your feet. I don't know if that sounds good. We can plan around that. I'll stay down in Blackwater. Nice. 
couple nights with you. You make your way back home. Why do I keep adding an E at the end of yours? Alright. Um we're also gonna we're also gonna send one off to Law real quick. Oh Saint Denis. Um we're gonna clear out some of these. Do 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 Those goddamn bastards. Well, I hope that uh at least now maybe with Ronnie being dead I Maple Maple's um Rivalry with the bastards can reignite. Dear Law, you killed my beloved character Ronnie, so Maple will be on duty more often. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I didn't realize how many people liked Ronnie. I, I didn't realize how, how well liked Ronnie was. Um, he would have died regardless whether I knew or not, but uh, I didn't realize how uh, how many people really really loved Ronnie and, uh, and, and liked his uh, uniqueness, the character. I mean... I'll definitely end up making it. I, I mean, I do still have uh, Ban Krober. Cry yourself to sleep over Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> Rex. All right, first things first. Did CD get caught? CD got caught. Kramer and Blackwater. Thorn, Bolton, Blockley, Rhodes to Blackwater. Everyone's in Blackwater. Blackwater. We're going to have to get to Blackwater and just group up with everyone. Bonnie was robbed. Requesting all law check-in. This was 1030. Baba and Val. Okay. Let's see here. Bolton, Kramer, Maple, Gray, Undergrove. Do we miss Thorn? Or she just AFK? Must be, uh, AFK. Uh, Maple was the second law character to start watching in a while. It'll be a sad day when he permas. Hopefully that's not soon. Um, I, I, I don't have any plans for Maple to permas soon. He's still got a lot of time, I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh man. Operation Quicksand, potential apprehension of James Farthing. Hmm. 
nearly 10,000 days, man. Five AM to eleven AM. Ugh It's a grim time, man. <laughs> it's a grim time. No, nah, I I won't uh I won't perma I won't perma with the dice unless like I want to perma. The reason I, I did the dice was because like Ronnie was up for perma. Maple's not up for perma, not yet. Maple's got time before Perma still. The past few days, several situations, backups are being named. No one has shown this is happening. How have the men done? Quick tips. Backups requested to respond quickly. Uh, should we see a pattern of repeat behavior? Occurring through charges and reports, don't hesitate to apply some pressure when sent. There's any time. Should these folk wish to push the boundaries of the law for their own selfish natures, we need to exercise that we are all employed to do. Threaten longer charges in the way that SCSD and the law. <clears throat> Crimes that endanger lives of others, including SCSD, doctors and innocents, should not be treated lightly. Up their charges going forward, gradually increasing time over time. That's the important thing, is over time. Um, heavy but proud and hopeful heart that I announced retirement of senior deputy Eliana Carver. Carver has served alongside us for many months, providing an open mind and deep care for those around her. Her vest, well of compassion and sharp wit, heavily missed in the department. I know she will lead a fruitful and giving life all the same. Thank you for service. Train many of our new colleagues who have also taught valuable lessons. You cherish friend and colleagues who change many around you. I wish you a new journey and unpredictable life. Oh, mm. you know, for younger. That's tough, man. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Valentine Town Band for the Bathhouse Crew. Dead End Gang still banned from Strawberry. Three votes for Senior. Uh, W. Pointer brings to attention to the Blackwater Storage. Um, January 9th. Seems you were at the bank job yesterday where my horse got shot down. I feel like you did me a favor. Th though that horse just sprinted right in front of the gunfire and started. There was no stopping him. I have to ask, though, when is this going to end? You've racked up quite a long list of charges, Richard, and they're getting hungry in the department. You're lucky they didn't find out till after it was y'all. Otherwise, that, like, that would have likely ended differently. I thought I recognized your navy through the window, but I didn't want it, us to breach, so I waited. I don't want to hurt any of y'all, but I have a job to do. I have worked hard to keep you and your people alive. Please, Richard, come consider coming in peacefully. I know you don't want to go to Sissica, but they're going to keep putting me in these hunts after you, and I just can't step out, otherwise it's going to, they're going to question me on it. I don't want this to end with me and you having to point guns at each other because I won't shoot you. I feel I've caused you enough pain, and I don't want to cause more. I believe you when you say you don't want to hurt me, but asking, but if you don't turn yourself in, they'll put... That will be put to the test. Just consider it, please. That's all I'm asking. Uh, <clears throat> hey, despite the, this particular instance, this is the first time hearing any confusion. Is there anything going on? This is concerns for how further communication. Mr. Trush really seals the deputy. I was happy to. All day. Don't believe we need to bring this up to share decision considering the age of the telegram. Our first step should be simply speak to her. We shouldn't start doubting our deputies, especially the age-old information. Could we get a senior to simply speak to her on the matter, question her on how long this communication has gone, whether she's communicating, whichever senior gets her first pronounced statement. Thank you, Gatlin. Uh -huh. oh, why did the music just cut like that?
Do 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 All right, well. Effie Parker challenging charges. Who made this fucking report, O'Grady? Uh. What was, what was her fucking... She's got, like, a fucking, like, $20 fine, bro. Like, <laughs> Parker got, like, a $20 fine. $50 fine. She was served a $50 fine. <laughs> Why is Rip FAO'd over this? Do 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 do. Oh, they spelled investigation wrong. So, that's, wait, I spelled that right. Uh, what the fuck? Give me the O'Grady and Strawberry. Oh, I spelled I spelled it wrong somewhere else. Hold on. Investigation. Thank you. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. 
There's over a hundred signatures from many townsfolk of Strawberry supporting the lifting of the town ban at Dead End Gang. Documentation needs need to support this goal. Please let the paid representative know a positive outcome will make Strawberry very happy. Isn't that peaches? YW740? It's Adelaide. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 not even a hundred people who live in Strawberry. <laughs> there's not even a hundred people that live in Strawberry, bro. God, I feel like we're not gonna get shit tonight. We did all the uh, we did all the fun stuff already. We were we were on the other end of the reason why Law was you know around at this hour. Now that we're all put away, Law is, is just like oh well they're gone, so nothing's gonna happen. We need more late NA criminals and. It can't be me because I also need to do my fucking law work. And I, I would ra I, I, I always prefer playing law. But if there's nothing for me to do on law, then what am I supposed to do? Really uh kinda ties me up. It also probably doesn't help that we, like, you know, kind of wiped the law a few times at this hour. <laughs> so, like, a lot of them are going to be injured. Um, so that, that also, you know, does not help very much at all. There, 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 there really does feel like a bit of a calmness, a bit of a serenity over the crossing with that. There's a lot of people in there. You know what? I'm just going to carry on. Is that Kaniglo? There's a woman. Who is that? I don't recognize him.
Hello. Got it. What? What? I said hello. Oh, hey. Who are you? Thomas Woods. Hi, Thomas. See you, Deputy Maple. Oh. Hi, Deputy ba Maple. Uh, yeah, I just saw there was a lot of people inside and I uh, wanted to see who it was before I made my way in. Well, I'm going to try your perspective. <clears throat> that does seem like a lot of people inside. Yeah. What are you doing tonight, Senior Deputy Maple? I'm doing uh, just fine. Excellent, excellent. Hello. Hey. Come look with us. What are we looking at? Inside. There's a lot of people. I wanted to see who was inside before I uh, came inside at all. Well, get your banner cards. Bad history with telegram offices and lots of people inside of them. Right. He's... You know, he's worried that he's going to walk in. We're going to be like, hey, put him up. It looks kind of sparse now. So well, now, yeah, I mean, now everyone's out here instead. Yeah, it might yeah, be right. safe now. Yeah, it might be. We could, Maybe. Get, we could make it in now. We have to piece. watch out, though. I mean, they could be lurking around any corner. They might be. Maybe <laughs> even over there. It could be. Maybe they're even... You lot have a good night. You too. Bye. I don't know who's who, man. I don't recognize these people. I used to know everyone. Now I don't know anyone. Excuse me. Blackwater, I get with the others. I don't know how long we're gonna stay on Maple tonight. I mean, if it's just like dead and dead, then uh, just kind of sitting ducks, right? There's not much we can do. It's just kind of tough. I would love for there to be stuff we could do, but it's really completely out of my control. Maybe we'll go on a no pixel tonight. Just if there's like really nothing going on, maybe we'll go, uh. You can play like Rod on no pixel and just steal a few cars or something. Or just like joyride a bit. I don't know. I don't know. It gets to a point on these nights where like it's just boring, and it's nights like this that cause burnout, right? It's it's nights like where you've got people around and there's no nothing happening that that you get burnout. Which is what I'm heavily trying to avoid, but it has just been 
Especially compared to yesterday, the West was a war zone. Yeah, that's the thing, right? And, and like, it's tough because, like, I was part of making it a war zone, which was awesome. It was great for law. And then I come on law, and everything's dead because everyone got caught last night. <laughs> so, like, there's just nothing going on. The thing is, like, with me on Maple, I had, like, two two good nights, I think. There's, we had uh, we had a couple good nights where we had the zip thing and we had the dead end gang stuff. Uh, but aside from that, it has been just like this for weeks now. Um, and and this is literally the, like, I, I would say the leading cause of burnout is boredom. There is nothing to do at this hour. There is no crime going on that we know of to do anything about. I remember at this hour it used to be there was so much going on we had no deputies to deal with it. They, exactly, Star. That, that's really, that is genuinely what it feels like. Which, it's a shame. I would love to, to deal with, with more people at this hour. I'd love to deal with anybody at this hour. But, you know, Del Lobos are caught, Bastards are caught, Kelly Gang essentially doesn't exist. Rudy's gang is meh. I was the CD UAV telegrams, so yeah. Oh. See, uh, I, I, I just, I, I really do hope and wish that, you know, some other groups start to come around this hour. Like, I just, I don't know. I would love for other groups to come around this hour. Just give us something to do. And, like, proper groups, too. Not just, like, joke groups. Because joke groups are fun, you know? But, like, having some proper groups come around at this hour would be really helpful. They did run into a brick wall for the West last night. <laughs> I, I would love for there to be some proper groups around this hour. It would be really, really helpful and, and good for morale and good for good for law in general and, and burnout. But, uh, you know, I, it does feel like we may have been, like, the only group. So the whole law team that was here. Uh, honestly, I don't know, Star. I mean, I still do have uh, Grubber. He still exists. Um, but aside from him, I don't really have anything set in stone at the moment. See, we have, like, some law presence right now. There's just nothing going on.
I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> He said his peak was something amazing. It really was, man. It really was. It really was peak, bro. It was phenomenal. I don't know, man. I, I, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, something. Grammar. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Grammar. Yes. Shine run. You want to come? New Hanover West. I was, I'm, I'm about to go to bed in the next right. like 15 minutes. That's fine. Are, are you going alone? Everybody else decided to get on a fucking boat. Are you gonna... God fucking damn it, Nathan. <laughs> you coming or no? If you want to go to bed, you can. <laughs> well, but make sure you don't get shot first. Alright, fair enough. I don't want to argue that. There's not normally uh, a lot that happens at this hour since, you know, when I've been on duty, so. It's fair. I'll take I whatever I can get things. right now, man. I'm trying to get through those 50 fucking folders of files we have going. It's way too many. I thought 30 was too many. No, I mean, we've like been at... In the teens. Yeah, it's, that is, it hasn't been like that in months, Kramer. Yeah, that's an issue. Well, you know, we were getting close to it. Where were we, though? We got <laughs> it down under 30. It was at, like, 28. When? Like a month ago. Well, I do think that with the bastards being caught, that's going to bring a lot down. Del Lobos is going to be ring a lot down, too. Start archiving those files. Where did you say the shine one was? New Hanover West. Where are we gonna go sit? I was gonna th I was thinking uh, the if we're gonna catch it while we're in West Elizabeth, our best shot's gonna be over by the lumber yard. Because it's two options, right? It's either gonna be going wildflower to cattail or cattail out west. Going cattail, they're gonna take the railroad. Shit, fella. It's your play, I'm just acting. It's whatever you <laughs> wanna do. <laughs> I hope we can find it. I hope we get a shine around to chase me. What if they go up around? Are they still doing that? Taking the like ONG letter or O'Craze, whatever one is right here? It's hard to say. Horse? Oh. Another horse with a lantern? fuck was that? I don't know. Some guy wearing goggles. Do 
lovely fog. Yeah. I can just barely see the railroad if they do come down it. Now this is where I've been uh, going for New Hanover West if I'm in West Elizabeth. Most more times than not, it's um, wildflower across. And if that's the case, well, unless you're in Valentine, you're probably not going to catch it. Yeah, you're just fighting a losing battle. Yeah. It's a 50 50 shot, these ones. I used to sit by uh, the bridge by Strawberry. That used to be so good. Because they would either go across the bridge or a little above the bridge, like through the creek, and you could just see them either way. Or yeah, like that, sit that hill behind us, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? That's why I kind of like this spot a bit more, is because if they're going that route, they're coming this way. In order for them to get across out of that bridge or to go up behind us, they have to come down this railroad. True. I found it. I'm a fan of it. I really like the spot. It also gives like true stakeout vibes. There's two lawmen on a horse. Watching for Moonshine Wagon. I do feel like we've been uh, pretty unlucky in terms of catching shiners of late as well. Haven't, haven't caught very many of them. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't fancy getting shot over fucking liquor. Yeah, well, me neither. I feel like most of the shine runs I end up being a part of where we catch someone, it... Usually ends up in gunfire. Yeah, it does tend to be the case from time to time. Then again, a lot of the times I'm pretty unlucky and we end up finding like Tommy Two Snakes on the back of the wagon or something. <laughs> that would be pretty, uh, pretty rough actually. <laughs> Give it another minute or two. I think we'll head out. He was a bit of a bastard. Yeah, he was a bit of a bastard. Quite the bastard. I really do like this spot though. Like this is a very awesome. It's, all, it's just a very cinematic spot. I feel. Every time I bring somebody here, like just a two-person shine hunt, it just feels super cinematic. I'm real curious who, as to who that fellow was that ran past us and stopped. He's wearing a cap, right? Yeah, flat so cap with goggles. goggles. I thought at first. Face. Yeah, I thought at first he was wearing like that little kind of Steelers bandana, you know. The one that just covers the eyes. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's like a raccoon mask, but mm -hmm. uh, those goggles. I thought he was going to say something, but he just kind of stopped, stopped and stopped and looked, there. yeah. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> More than likely, uh, cattail. Fuck him. Fuck him indeed. You, you were part of that group. 
that one time when we had like five seniors and Lynn chasing, chasing the one guy. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. The poor guy didn't know what was coming. Down uh, in Lemoyne. Now it was out. Uh, it was out this way. We He's come over to Blackwater for the bank. Oh, that's right. That's right. And then there was too many, so we left, and we all went to Strawberry and saw the shine tip, and we <laughs> all saddled up and chased the poor fucker down. I do remember that. What am I? I don't know what I'm thinking of. That I'm thinking of a time we were by Caliga chasing somebody, and I, I I don't remember who it was, but someone flipped their horse over the fence. It was like a bunch of us chasing one person. Hmm. I'm not sure I was part of that one. I have, I don't think I've been part of too many chases down in Lemoyne. There's only a handful of spots people like to go. Yeah. Braithwaite Manor. Usually a hot pick. Is it? That's where the Del Lobos went and made them pay for going there. Yeah, I mean, we've had so many gun... You know, I, I can't even count how many gunfights I've had there. I know for me it's at least two. Three, actually. At least three. Oh, good lord. No, I'm, it's at least five. I know the first three times we were trying to come up with a good way to, you know, deal with it. And then by that point, we, we had come up with a, a plan. Well, we. It was honestly mostly Weller. I think I was there for that one. You have to be more specific on which one. It was like just before we made Weller Senior. And he was negotiating. I don't remember who he was negotiating with, but I remember I was there with Ruth and Weller. It would have been back November-ish. I don't even remember what I had for breakfast. You're asking too much. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, it was uh, it was overkill. That we <laughs> we swarmed that poor son of a bitch. is a, a show of unity that was required in order to get the <laughs> the bastards down for fuck's sakes if we were split up then you know things could have gone worse yesterday there's a crazy woman shooting in annisburg oh boy moving towards emerald well i'd be happy to go out there crazy but... woman that's what the tip said i'm uh clocking off duty <laughs> looks like everybody else is on the boat Me and you on duty, Bolton. Aside from the three that uh, are on the boat that went to St. Denis. Mm, that might not last long. Well, I guess I'll head to Emerald. Okay. I may head out that way uh, after. Okay. Please be safe. Good to see you, of course. And good luck, Mabel. Thank you. Good to see you, Chair. Huh. All right. Well, look at that. We got some things going on. We're just gonna be responding to everything fucking alone tonight because <laughs> because we have no one to respond to with. Wearing red and black with a bow in her hair. a 1v6 in my future I got to uh, I, I I took the early fall last night with Ronnie so you know it's it's about time that Maple clutches up again well 
Maple was riding. Maple was riding a, a good high from uh, from we had with Maple we had the Braithwaite situation and then we had Mercer and Maple was uh, Maple was real good. Now Maple Maple isn't Maple isn't on the perma uh, perma line. Maple's not on the permaline. The Maple still has... I still have a lot of story with Maple I want to play out before I start putting him forward for perma. Yeah, Ronnie did get fucked up on a horse, man. We got, we got fucked up on that horse. I don't know how I didn't take Buck down, though. I thought I fucking... I thought I had Buck dead to rights there. He was a sitting duck. And, uh, and, and I missed, like, I think every shot on him. I'm I'm super curious as to who it was that actually shot me down. I rode right past. Him. I was shooting while I rode right past him. I wasn't about to like hit him. Well, that's not that's not very cash money to do. Um, so. I thought I thought I had him down. I'm wondering if, if, like, because I didn't take him down, if he was able to get a shot off on me and take me down. It was good though, all around, man. Last night was last night was really awesome. But Ronnie couldn't leave his soul, get off for a long time after uh, time. I went to bed after the whole scene in the West. Which scene in the West? <laughs> there was like fucking dead. You're being shot up by like three people, so it's hard to tell that Buck was the uh, Buck, but Buck was one of them for sure. Yeah. So the reason um they are like when CD went down, oh yeah, and I I was on uh, Ronnie was laying there for another like hour. <laughs> um, because the reason like Ronnie went back for Ev, right? Ronnie was not about to let them just walk away with Ev, because he knew we knew Ev was down, and and Ronnie was not about to let Ev go just for free. Um, so, it was, uh, it was good. Uh, no. Uh, Alice got away, but they came back and got caught trying to break out. So everyone got caught in the end. Um. But it was, uh. It was pretty good, man. Like. It was a very emotional night. Um. We're looking for a woman in black and red with a bow in their hair. A lot of the RP last four or more days has been insane. It has been. It has been fucking crazy. It has been so awesome and fun to be a part of. I'm so glad. I'm so happy that I was able to be a part of that whole thing and, and be a part of the bastards and everything. It was honestly, it was uh, wonderful to be able to take part in. It was so funny that once you guys all got together and went to see Scarlet once you were ready to put the law. So two seconds later, yeah. 
It was good. Of the day for CD's death. I hope I can be there on Maple. I'll <laughs> be there for CD's execution on Maple. I hope so, Broski. I hope so. I'm sure as I want to be. Fucking A right, man. If I could be part of the shooting line on Maple, I fucking sure, sure as hell will be. Right along, right next to Ruth, bro. <laughs> right next to Ruth. Yeah, no, for sure he will. 100% John will be there for it. Maple, Ruth, and Brooks, bro. <laughs> EGPD, unite to kill CD on the firing line, man. Oh, please. <laughs> He's so good. No, nah, Brooks is not dead. She was in real bad shape, though. Do, do, do. Ba, da, 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 da. Nah, and she's super scarred up though. Like she's super fucked up. She was in really bad shape, but uh, she did not die. Where the Valentine? Who's that? Is it me? Is that Alvin? <laughs> How can I help you, Alvin? We can't trust you guys no more. Uh, fair enough. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. I was ready to. I was ready to. I was ready to fight Alvin there. I was hundred percent ready for a fucking shoot up there with him. <laughs> Uh, Alvin, Ronnie's best friend. He did seem excited to. He did seem excited to see Ron, to see Maple. But he was also alone, so. See how long that lasts for. It's true.
A woman in black and red with curly hair and a bow in her hair. Last seen heading towards Emerald, Emerald Station. From Annisburg. Opinion, who is better? I lost CD or Sam Bass. Which one do you think instilled more fear? I think CD instilled more fear. I think CD was... I think a lot more people were afraid of CD than they were Sam Bass. I think CD... I think CD is far more notorious than Sam Bass was. Where the fuck did all these people come from? What the fuck? <laughs> Where did all these people come from? I, I agree. I think Jabass is scarier than the both of them. I also think, I do think Jabass's fear uh, helped kind of weigh in on the fear of CD as well. I think, I think, um, I think people were far more afraid of Jabass than they were of Sam Bass. And I think as a result, people were more afraid of CD than they were of Sam Bass because of Jabass. Siege of Bass again? I don't know. I doubt it. But, uh, it's not something I could know. It's, uh, it's completely on John, man. I think, I think Jabass and Aurora are happily in Mexico together, sipping fucking margaritas on a beach, bro. <laughs> It would be pretty great to have Jabass back for like a short stint to get caught because he is still wanted. Him and Aurora are still wanted for the uh, Kramer situation. Um, I, I'd love to bring him in. Sort of like a call back to, you know, the uh, first days of, you know, chaos and insanity. It would be great, but yeah. John will want to keep him at large to getting caught, probably. I could see, I could see that as well.
I wonder if that group only read like half the telegram and went to Annisburg instead of Emerald. I was wondering where you lot went. We made for. Hello. Did you see uh, anything? No, I came out here and I was sitting around for a little while. Um, I was watching the station, but I didn't see anybody come or come or go. I ran into Alvin. Um, and he went up towards Annisburg, but other than that, I ain't seen really anybody. I he went back to Valentine. I saw you guys were responding, so I came back out here. How was the uh, boat trip to whoever was on it? It was, uh... Yes, what she said. What, I didn't hear what she said. Invigorating. Oh, I said invigorating, yes. I see. You all sound very invigorated. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can't tell. Yeah. We got a rider in red coming down here right now. A woman. Curly yep. hair. Yep. Red and black, bow in her hair. Adelaide. Yep. Hello. Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. How are we doing today, miss? Hello? Hello. What's your name, miss? Fucking Peaches. Peaches? What do you want? Peaches, we had a uh, report of somebody matching your description causing uh, a lot of trouble out in Annisburg. Gonna take me back to Siska and fucking shoot me in the back. Oh well, no, that's not what I'm here to do. You sure? I know you still got the papers. What'd you do in Asberg, Peaches? Yeah, I fucking shot someone. Why? I'm angry. You're angry, so you just shot somebody? Yep, because I'm a monster. Right, well, okay. I'm sure you know we're not just going to turn around and let that happen, right? No, I really think that you'd like to shoot me. I think that you'd like to chase me and shoot me down and kill me too. If I'm being 100% honest. Uh, I so why don't we have a little chase? Peaches, hold on. Doesn't need to be that way, Peaches. There's five of you all peaches. with lots of guns. Got I a can't ton speak of cattlemen. For the entirety of the department, but I could speak for myself. I don't want any of that. Honestly, Peaches, if I wanted to shoot you down, it probably would have happened already. I don't know. We ain't seen each other in so long, Maple. We've grown apart. I think we don't have the same relationship we did. I'm certainly not the same person I was. I mean, for argument's sake, I'm certainly not the same person I was either. Yeah. So how do you want this to go, Maple? Ideally, without any bloodshed. Why would I ever trust a deal with you all? When I stopped running, that's when they took me in and did everything to me. Why would I ever want to come with you all peacefully ever again? 
I promise he won't be hurt by any of us. I'll put my badge on it. What about Rabbit? Rabbit's not on duty. Rabbit's not going to be any part of anything that we need to sort out right now. Do you know what Rabbit said to me before all this happened? What? Before they held a gun to my head and put me up on the gallows. Read me out my last rights. Pretended like I was going to be executed for fleeing and eluding. They said that it wasn't about heart. Because they had heart back. They said it was about taking away something that Wallaby loved. The sheriff of all of you all wanted to hurt me because they wanted to take away something that Wallaby loved. I was going to be murdered by y'all's leader because someone loved me. That was my crime. <laughs> and Peaches. now you're wanting to tell me that I should trust that you don't want to hurt me too when I know that you fucking hate me too that I'm a monster and you I... want the slightest excuse wow. to hurt me Peaches, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that you're a saint because you sure as hell know that you're not. I'm not. I told you. I'm not a saint. No, you're not. I just shot someone, Maple. That's exactly. a pretty bad crime. It is. You're right. Mm -hmm. And so y'all have every right to do whatever you want. We sure as hell do. Yep. There's we a reason. Have every right to want to shoot me. Yeah. We have every. We are in every right to shoot you down and take you in if we so needed to. We don't have any guns out, do we, right now? Guess not. Right. Because we're having a conversation about it. Yep. What I'm trying to say is that I don't trust a word that you say that you don't want to hurt me. That if I come with you, you won't do the same thing Rabbit did, or Malone, or Sand. And I don't think there's anything I can say, or any of us can say right now, that will change that. I'll say this, Peaches. None of us here are those three people. You're going to be dealing with us and us only. If any other deputy tries to get involved with your paperwork, we will tell them to fuck off. What happened to you, I don't believe was proper justice. And don't get me wrong, your gang has done very violent things. But it is our job to protect everyone and anyone. What happened to you in my eyes, and I'm speaking for myself, wasn't justice. And like I said, I'll put my badge on it. You won't be hurt if you come with us right now, peacefully. I believe in reformation. And salvation. Hmm. <laughs> Long gone you know, opportunity for a chance. A fair chance. Now, if they make a decision to try to hurt me, then I will defend myself, but I'm not going to go out of my way to hurt anybody. I never have. Never will. Justice is blind. All those who's fall under its sword to find salvation after yeah 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 salvation oh Just sorry come I didn't with mean to us peaches it's your decision at the end of the day if you run I mean you already laid out what might happen there yep, is that yep. possibility. Yep, yep. I'm giving you an option right now to avoid that possibility entirely. I'm trying to figure out which one you all are. If you're the good ones or the bad ones. 
pure good ones. I really don't think you are, Maple, if I'm being honest. I really do think that you would like to hurt me. I don't trust you at all. I see in your eyes. I see it's the same thing. You are jaded. You think that you can do whatever you want because I'm a fucking monster. You think that nothing that I say matters. You don't think anything that I say matters because I've done bad things. So I deserve everything that I get, which, which fair, you know, I do. I have done bad things. I have done bad things, but I did not do bad things then. So and I've done bad things now. So if you did want to shoot me, that would make sense. Um. Yep, okay. I'll see ya. Peaches, don't force my hand. Shoot me, Maple. Do it. <laughs> Peaches, stop the horse. You're not gonna be heard. <laughs> don't. You're making your own decision with this right now, Peaches. Yeah, yeah. I'm in control. I'm doing something bad. I actually deserve it now. <laughs> Keep distance between each other. She's going to try and get us to crash into each other. No, I'm not. I'm... Peaches, stop running. There's no need for this. Peaches, <laughs> I'm begging you, please. Please, please stop please the horse. <laughs> Peaches. Stop the horse, please. I don't want to you don't have a choice, Peaches. Stop the horse. <laughs> Peaches, none of us have even pulled a weapon. I promise you, you're not going to be hurt. <laughs> Let me go to Jack first. <laughs> Please. Peaches, come here. <laughs> Let me go to Jack. <laughs> Please. He's just there. He's just there. Let me see. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? He's at the tree. Please just let me see him. <laughs> Which tree? <laughs> Which tree? Up here. <laughs> Who is she talking about, Maple? Reed. <laughs> the big tree. Put you down, I'm gonna cut you free, I'm gonna put you in cuffs. You're gonna be on your feet, okay? If you try to run, I'm gonna rope you up again, okay? You understand? Yeah. Go oh, ahead, have your moment. Watch that horse coming behind you. Oh. Ow. That's, whoops. Minx is doing. She's always fucking amazing. She's always phenomenal. Mm. Okay, okay, sorry, you can take me. I'm sorry. Gonna do anything. Come on, we'll pull you up. Come here, let's go. We go to roads. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> No peaches, I train a lot of the cadets and deputies right now through shooting training. I run them through the fact that any time a weapon comes out, a risk of death is put on the table not only for the person that you may be pointing it at, but the person holding the gun to begin with. There's no need to put that risk of life on the table. But more times than not, our hand is forced. They said it wasn't about heart. It was... That's <laughs> setting an example. They got him back. Right. Well, the beardy folded. No, he didn't. He folded afterwards. He folded after he had no cards left to play, Peaches, and you know that. No, they... They came out and they sent a tip. You can look at it if you don't believe me. Please, just... Peaches, it was sent after he was found already. Yeah, but we didn't know that. If it's exactly. about the message, it was already sent. They already knew the message. It wasn't about the message. She, she, they said that. They said it was about just hurting him. I don't want... It was exactly what... He wanted to play a game. And it was a game that he lost. <laughs> yeah. That's what they said, too. I was a pawn in their game. I was just a pawn to them. He loved me so I could be used by them. Yeah, it was a game. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was a game. It was a game. <laughs> Howdy, fella. Let's go inside. Yep, I'm, in, I'm going. Drama is real, bro. She does such a good jog, jog at portraying it. I have my weapon. I have a weapon. Take my I, weapon. I know yeah. you do. Okay. It's a gift. It's my favorite. <laughs> It's just a little pea shooter, but it's my favorite. The sword was from a pirate too. And the pirate found horn. Oh. Alright, come here, let me help you. Okay. Give me one moment. <laughs> When you guys start the paperwork, assault with the deadly. All right. Come here and take this book back. Hey, can I can I have my telegrams and stuff? Um, back. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff y'all have. I really would like. Thank you. I'll take a look to see uh, what we have on that okay. front. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot to give you fair trade. Here, take some chicken. Oh, that's fine. I, I don't. I'd chicken. rather not. I really don't have a lot okay, of space, peaches. Trade. Please keep your chicken. Yeah. Yeah.
What do we have of hers? You'll give me a second. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, I uh, started the report. Thank you. It's uh, it's it's just how maple's grown and developed. It's it's it, it, it's all about de-escalation. It's what Michael has preached for a very long time. It's situational awareness, knowing when the right time to draw a weapon is and when the wrong time is. There is no need to draw it there. There's no need for for increased aggression. Uh, Peaches, I'm looking through all of our evidence with anything involved with anything you've been involved in, and I am not finding any telegrams here that belong to you. I didn't call them my telegrams. The stuff I learned. Do you remember when? It was when they arrested me. Okay, let me take a look. So, here's the thing, right, Peaches? It's possible that uh, we do still have the files. It is also possible that the uh, file has been moved to a folder that I do not have access to as a senior deputy. Uh, due to some on ongoing things currently revolving the situation that you've dealt with. So everything that I love. Well, oh. I at, at at this time, I don't have anything. I don't have any access to anything that that was taken from you when you were arrested. Um, and so there's nothing that I can return. Um, with what you did out in Annisburg, let me charge you with assault with a deadly weapon. Regular procedure would be to not return these weapons that uh, I've taken off of you, Peaches, but... Hmm. It's a difficult case. With everything that we've heard about the group you spend all your time with and their intents to go out and harm deputies, what reason should I hand you this rollover back just to turn it around and use it on one of my own? I had every reason to not to shoot you all and kill you. I know you did. As did I. But I didn't use it. You're right. You didn't use it against us. 
but you did use it against this innocent civilian. Mm, that's right. Yeah, that's fair. Guess I can't give you a good reason. Where'd you get the calumny from? You said it was a gift? It's a gift from my friend. Because I always used little pea shooters. And they're not good at all. They're really bad. And so someone made me a really pretty pea shooter. And after I, you know, I remembered my name and figured things out, they named it after me. They gave it to me because they loved me. Maple struggling having a good reason to return these, especially after everything that, uh... I'd talk to you a lot for a moment. Yeah. I see very little reason to return these weapons to her. Although she is right, she did not use them against us. She did shoot a civilian in Annisburg. And she almost certainly, when she's not alone, turn around and use it against us. She is not a saint, although she very much likes to put on the mirage of one, like she's an innocent bystander and everything. I understand. And I don't feel sympathy towards her after what was done to heart. But I have a morality of what's right and wrong in my head, sir. That's understandable. I don't entirely know everything that happened with her. I wasn't there for it. I don't know, uh, you know I think whatever investigation is going on take place. And get sore. Yeah. Would you assume that was theatrics, though? Really? Because I don't think it was. That looked like terror. Some it of did. us she's never. Some of us she's never met. So why would she be afraid of us? She doesn't uh, have any history with us. I, I'm not. I'm not going to argue that she is not genuinely afraid. But she is also not a saint, and she has done far worse. We could do this, day. sir. Oh, go ahead. Only if you guys agree. We could return the weapons back. But if she's arrested with them again in a violent crime, we don't put them on the auction. We melt just them melt down. them down. I like it. Good idea, Valentine. Everyone else okay with that? Yeah, yeah that's, that sounds fair. Pages. Yeah. You come up here. We can talk to you face to face. Yeah. I'm going to make this very, very clear. Okay. We are going to return your weapons to you tonight. But I'm making it abundantly clear that if you are arrested again with these weapons for a violent crime that you use these weapons in, they will not go to auction. They will be melted down. Do you understand? Okay. All right. You are going to be charged tonight with fleeing and eluding an assault with a deadly weapon. You'll be serving your time here in Rhodes. You'll be serving 30 days with what time served of about probably 15 days. Sounds about right, yeah. That sounds right. <laughs> that will be a remainder of 15 days and $100. It'll be due for release at 1.18 a.m. tonight. Understood?
Let's put these back in here. About what, Peaches? Excuse me? Hey, love, did you get your things back? Good morning. Morning. Did you, uh, did you, did you get your things back? The FAO I gave for you? I, I did. Thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Yeah, Not I got them right here. Good. And it's the same thing I told my deputies over there. People you're with have done some very heinous things. When I look at you, it's hard after what Who's happened there? to Heart to feel sympathy. However, there's a difference between right and wrong. Oh, top spin! To Thank you for the raid, man. Here. We need to know the differences between Appreciate right you. and wrong. And I full-heartedly believe if what everything I've heard what happened to you is not right and it will be looked into I give you my word on that I grew up doing crime Hagen's um, I don't know if you knew them, but they raised me. And they told me that we are the bad guys and we do bad things. But we have a rule. You don't touch deputies because they're the good guys. They're just doing their job. Just like us as criminals are doing our job and getting caught by them. Interesting. Really thought they were bluffing. Because you guys are the good guys. I told Malone I'd show him my telegrams. I didn't know what had happened. But I didn't think Hart deserved it. I like him. I was really planning on helping. And I'm a criminal, so I don't believe that you'd believe me. I believe in justice. <laughs> I can't take it seriously, man. I've been tortured before. By outlaws. I've been beaten by Booker and Big L. It's hard to argue it, man. But I ain't never been tortured by a deputy that was an outlaw before. And, and, and that, oh, that's man. really confusing it's to me. Because so everything they said, it was a message. That's what outlaws say in the West. Gotta set a precedent. That's the principle, right? It's about hurting someone that he loves. That's revenge. All of these rules is, is messing with my head. I, I don't get it. I don't know. You guys are the good guys, and that's all the bad guy stuff. So I'm. And I ain't sleeping, so maybe when I get more sleep, it'll make more sense to me. But I don't, I don't know how to understand things now. I didn't lack my learn. I didn't lack heart. I didn't know sand, but I trusted that they were good guys. 
And if you all aren't good guys, and you're just like us, why have I been defending you all? And telling people to not go after you? Everyone gives me shit for it. <laughs> why have I been doing that? It's very. It's a very interesting perspective. If what they're saying is it's right. A very interesting per perspective. Why would anyone treat you all any different? What you're doing isn't justice, and it's revenge. What you're doing right now is painting us all in the same light. Yeah, and We're that's not what... all the same. That's what they did to me and why I'm here, and it's really hard not to, because I, I look at you, I look at someone like you, and... You don't seem like that. But you need to sleep on it, and you don't know what to believe right now. I don't need you to believe anything except this. That's that's exactly it, Jefferson, right? It's what like happened it very is being looked into. Spicy. And I'll leave you with that. That piece is your right, I am very different from uh, from how I was before. I've come a very long way. Had a lot of things happen gotten far more jaded far less of a leash given to people who well simply don't deserve a leash any longer than they've already been given but regardless of that there's a reason that when I train the deputies I train in shooting training that I make sure that they are aware that no situation is the same that no people are the same. That any time a weapon comes out of their hands, that a life may be lost and it might be their own. Not every situation that we need to make an arrest on somebody requires a gun to be pulled or a shot to be fired. I think I've uh, displayed that to Matt with you. Yeah, you didn't shoot me. I really thought you would. There are many people who I would have shot in that situation, Peaches. But there's a weight that needs to be leveled. What you did was wrong. What you did was dangerous. What you did could have killed somebody. But it seemed very clear to me that you were not looking to cause harm any further than you already have. That is not always the case with the people we deal with, the people I deal with. More times than not. More times than not, the people that I am bringing in are people who do not want to stop. And will stop at nothing. That is likely the reason why I have started to get the reputation that I have, well, rightly deserved when it comes to bringing in people and the aggressiveness that I bring. There's a reason that the shotgun on my back is named Aggressive Negotiations. More times than not, I am forced into those negotiations. It's not something that I want to do, but it's something that needs to be done. We put our lives on the line to ensure that everyone else's lives are not in danger with some of these people. Do you realize that this has now put you all in so much more danger? The fact that people know that this happened, even if I'm not shooting at y'all, everyone's really angry. Peaches, we breathe wrong one way, and everybody's really angry with us. Yeah, but this time, that. 
this time it's the truth and it's deserved we used to say not every other time it was the truth either <laughs> look uh, people go after y'all for any bogus reasons they look for they do but a lot of people are really angry about this because it doesn't feel like the law it felt black monsters doing monstrous things. And whether uh, you all meant for it to come that way or whether Rabbit meant for it to come that way, the way they handled it, the words they said, and what they did, it was monstrous and seems that way to others. I think that was the you same case. Sorry, I thought you were done. You don't dig your boot into someone's gunshot wound to make them scream so that their loved one has to watch in cuffs and starts crying for good. That's... That's not good, and... and making someone who had nothing to do with the situation and actually wanted to help Maple's the wrong person look to into their loved, loved ones, one's right? eyes and say goodbye thinking that they were gonna die on me for it to be a joke that's not something you do for good and then making them think that they're all just fucking with you so that then you shoot down someone they love <laughs> without giving their last rats their last words of it to say goodbye <laughs> making them think it's not gonna happen when you do that all of a sudden so that it hurts the most you don't do that for good <laughs> cause it <laughs> it's not good <laughs> it's not it's, it's not <laughs> it's not love it's not what the good guys do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Uh, sorry. Uh. Yeah. Um. So I don't think I don't. <laughs> it doesn't look good. They actually have a reason to be upset and to think that you guys are the bad guys for that because. I I I, I don't know how you can see that as good for anyone. I don't know how that would stop violence. It just makes the playing field even. It makes more violence. And it makes, it makes people like me who really, really tried to, to play the game following the rules. You don't snitch. You don't hurt the good guys. Unless you have to, you know, unless you're being shot, it makes it really hard to to keep your mind on straight. <laughs> I'm already fucking insane. <laughs> you know that I, I struggle most of the time to keep my mind here <laughs> and, and, and to remember how to, um, how to stay here and, and, in in this world. God, uh, um, yeah, and my mind is, is real fucked right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just rambling, I don't know. Um, pages. Yeah. When Wallaby kills somebody, are you considered a killer? Mm -hmm. I think it depends who has. When I Wallaby makes a decision without running it by you, do you just stick with him? No, I usually yell at him. 
You're not a blind follower. To be honest, a lot of the times I'm the one who tries to stop a lot of the bad things. You think if a lot of us were there to witness that, we wouldn't have tried to stop it? Because you keep saying you guys. You think that we wanted that to happen to you? Mabel, do you think what they did was the right decision? I think that the group of people that you have chosen to spend your time with are a horrible group of people, are a deadly group of people, are a dangerous group of people. I think you are well aware of that being the case. By the same token, I think the same of you now. And if I deserve it, then why wouldn't you? I am not wholly aware as to everything that occurred. I, I would be happy to tell you in detail. Well, and just... you've known me long enough that I don't lie. Is that I'm right? a criminal. So, you know, I understand that you think all of us are liars, Mabel. But I'll tell you when I do something. I'll tell you what happens. That's another rule of mine from the Hagens, too. I will tell you literally everything. Because for once, I don't have anything to hide. No one has asked me my side. But I would gladly give it to anyone who would believe me. Because I'm telling the truth, and if you don't believe me, and look at look at my face, believe what is on my body. You know, I was really scared of going to doctors because I knew people wouldn't believe me. And even I didn't believe me. But if I looked in the mirror, I could see it. And if people looked at me, they'd have to believe. At least that happened. I will say this. Regardless of the details as to what happened and what didn't, it is not something that I would ever do. You're telling me to not paint you all in the same light. Please don't paint me in the same light. 
I painted you in the same light, Peaches, you would have been shot to men. Yeah. You're right. I love those people. And I will stand by them. To my death. Clearly. I can and see I'm... that. I've done a lot of bad things. The law is rules and has punishments for actions. It's what it's supposed to be. Do you see this, Peaches? something to do if we want to do it. I got this the day the wallaby kid grabbed me in the parlor house and handed me to the Del Lobos and said, he's yours now. Do whatever the fuck you want with him and threw me down a flight of stairs. I got shot in the face by the Del Lobos that day. They tried to kill me. That's when I told you earlier. It's hard to feel sympathy towards you and your own, however. We're gonna do, I believe do in prison justice. Pickup, Maple. Got it. Because that's all I believe in at the end of the day. And I think proper justice will be brought. And if not, God help us all. At this point, it's not in our hands, not anybody here's hands. We don't have any really say in anything either. I don't really care about what say you have. Um... And also, I don't really deserve your sympathy. Like I said, I've done a lot of bad things. You have. But I just want good to be good again. And bad to be bad. And I want the world to make sense. And you guys are the ones that by keeping what you think is right and making sure that others around you do the same is what makes the world make sense again. That's what I want right now. I also, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really, really angry at Rabbit and Malone and all of them, and I really want revenge against them too, but I ain't gonna do nothing right now or nothing. The first, the first thing is to figure out whether, whether you guys are good again or if, if there is good, so. Well, I hope that tonight can be a starting point for you, Peaches. You know, a lot of people have been looking to me, asking what to do. How they should feel about this, which is really nice, you know? That people actually care, but... It did mean a lot to me that you didn't shoot me, I really thought you wanted to. I wanted to go die with Jack. That's why I was running there. I thought you wanted to kill me too. I 
I think um two for, for release, yeah. yeah. I'll sort your okay. paperwork out if you guys want to let her in. Uh, her things are mm -hmm. in the lockup and we'll turn them to her. The last thing I'll say, Peaches, is, is Yes, there is good and bad in this world. But at the end of the day, everyone's a human being. You said you would die for your friends. So keep that in mind when one of our friends is taken from us. I like heart. He's a good one. We're done for. I hope she doesn't run into roost on a root, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. This was the gun that Briar gave us. What the fuck is this angle? What the fuck? What is this angle? Why? What the fuck? Oh man, what a great scene. Minx is phenomenal. Good evening, sir. You low down, son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to wrap up here soon. I gotta go work in a little bit. Much shorter stream tonight because uh, I woke up really late because I was super fucking tired. Um, but wow, that was uh, that was a great scene. That was a great. That was that was really really great. That was a really great scene. Just, just give me a minute, Peaches. You could just uh, find a seat somewhere and I'll uh, come find you. Love shouldn't be talking to Peaches. Hey, Where'd you go? He's out here. Oh. He walked right past me. Hey. Uh, I wanted to clarify something with you. Mm -hmm. You don't mind? What is it? Am I allowed to hear her story? I I, I know I, I'm not trying to investigate or anything. I just I want to listen to her. I want to make her feel heard. That's that's all I want. I'm not you know 
trying to comment for the department or anything. I just want to listen, if that's all right. But I wanted to clarify. Uh, I would have to err on the side of no. Okay. Okay. I understand the desire to know of everything. I'm confident that whatever comes of it, we will be made aware of everything in its entirety. And I do not believe that speaking to her, gathering her side of the story in full detail will provide any benefit in any way, shape, or form. And if anything, it will cause more trouble for us in the long run. It'll cause trouble for us to listen to somebody who's hurting? It has the ability of driving a wedge that is already being hammered down in the department. I understand the oaths that I've taken, and I understand that there are protocols and things to deal with it, an investigation. I'm not, like I said. All right, I, not that I'm going to go ask her for it now or say that, you know, uh, that I'm going to go listen to her anyway, but I'm just saying. <laughs> so tough, man. Imagine it's... everybody just turns her away when all she wants is to be heard. There's a motive to everything. Everybody has a reason for the things that they do. I'm unsure in the entirety of what Peaches is aiming to accomplish with sharing her story to everyone. But I highly doubt that it is any way something that will benefit us in the department, and if anything will cause us more harm and more trouble. Does that make sense? I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but it's, uh... Admittedly, I would very much like to hear her end of this, of the situation as well. But, uh, guess we can't, so... I, I would have to say no. Yeah, I'll just let her go. Thank you. <sighs> it's super tough, man. See you around. I'll see you around. Ravid just sent in a tip. They're in Coulter. If you want to know more about anything, well, they're there and willing to talk. I'd recommend that's where you go first.
What the fuck? Howdy. Hey, Roscoe. I just saw this door wide open, so I stopped to check. No, it's definitely not open. Oh, uh, for my eyes it was. No. Still doesn't hurt to check, though. Mm -hmm. You guys doing all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, did Peaches leave already? She took my water bottle. Uh, there's somebody on the middle of the street. Peaches? Yeah. Can I have my canteen back? <laughs> I really wanted my cat back, bro. That was great, though. It's so Maple now is in a very difficult position. From where he started, he was very. Hmm, I don't want to say moldable. But. He was very much in a position where listening to every angle was always the perspective. There has been so much that's happened to Maple with these large groups and everything that has heavily jaded him. But not to the point of, you know, being okay with torture um but at the same time maple can't sit there just and... asking before i head out is there anything i need to keep my eyes out, out for maple for you guys i'm off duty right now no i think you're fine roscoe all right i'll take care Has it, hasn't been too hectic or anything not since i've been around now all right all righty see you around take care uh um, but there is also that, that air of, ha of the seniority and, and having to keep a unified front sort of thing, having to, you know, whether or not there is a disagreement or not, um, we need to keep sort of together. And there's also that level of having to rem keep our emotions in check. Right? I feel like Maple is very... has gone to a very professional position when it comes to being a deputy. Um, very kind of direct um but also doesn't let the tears and the emotion waver his decision um like i've said plenty of times recently peaches is not a saint and maple's well aware of that this is not the first time we've been in situations where we've had you know gangs unhappy with our actions and are coming after us All right maple has lived through these situations before you know, we've had a lot of things like this to deal with in the past. But, I mean, to this extent is something else. That it, it is a very tough spot to be in. Um, but it is also sort of why Maple is a senior. Because he is put in this spot. So that's that's really sort of Maple's stance on it. 
the uh he is very sort of just straight and like you know i'd say probably the best way to put it is good soldiers follow orders sort of situation with maple that's sort of what he's kind of developed into um there is there is points where you know maple does disagree He's not going to follow blindly. He will question. Um, but it, but he does it in a manner that it's not on display. It's not something that that is shown beyond the department. Right? It, it's it, it is a interdepartmental situation, and it is sort of interdepartmental. It is not flaunted amongst people. It is not shared beyond the department. It is not shown in that manner so that's that's very much the uh the standpoint with maple right it's not it's not that he's a, a robot officer can do no wrong um follow orders perfectly but it, it is that you know th there's that professionalism that he has hardened a lot from where he started he is not one to waver at tears or at emotion and will hold his ground and be be very much try try to be a voice of reason um but understands about not overstepping orders wait a minute hold up hello tibbet guess what what i know the frontier better than you you know that doesn't surprise me, Tibbet. I have had nearly next to zero time to actually go up to the frontier. Wait, seriously? Aren't you like freaking Senior Deputy of Coulter? Yes. I didn't know that. But now that I do, <laughs> how come you don't know the frontier with that? Because nine times out of ten when I am on duty, there's about three other people on duty. And everything down here is burning. Okay, well, do I have a deal? Oh, oh sorry, hold on, Sue. I gotta. <clears throat> do I have a deal for right, you no for a whopping five hundred dollars? I can give you a special map of the frontier. Eh? Seriously? Eh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you don't have to pay me for it. Oh, okay. I was just, I was just shitting <laughs> you on that. Uh, but I've been meaning to give you and Dan one because apparently y'all are up there. So give me one moment. Here, hold I try on, and be though. up there I whenever give, I can. I gotta give him something. I do try and be out there. Honest opinion, how do you think Boyd would react to this? I think Boyd would want them to hang. <laughs> I think I think Boyd would be shouting about swinging Sundays and and be out to kill them, honestly. I genuinely do think Boyd would be uh, all for... All... I, I think Boyd would be all for it, man. I think Boyd would follow right behind Malone and right behind Rabbit and, and back them up. What the fuck? Uh... <clears throat> oh, that looks uh, fancy. Let, yeah, let me uh, let me know when you can kind of uh, unshuffle it and see it in full view. Right, let's see here. Uh, hide all. User pins turn on under utilities. Where the fuck is utilities? User pins. Import export options. Oh, okay, choose file. Downloads, documents. Do I need to make this a JSON?
One second. I'll be right back while you unfurl that map. Yep, no problem. <laughs> um... Oh, I did the wrong one. I, I, I did to the wrong one. Oh, man. Oh, this is super cool. I gotta save this. Frontier map. Cougar's dead! Oh man, this is super cool. Oh wow, this is really neat. Oh yeah. Okay, so let me just explain you everything. You know, I, I color-coded everything, all these little pins here. Uh -huh. And then every little pin that I put in the map, uh, you can kind of unfurl a little piece of paper with some notes on it. Yeah. All right, uh, so really quickly going over the purple or any points of interest. Uh, now, there's some things there that I, I have updated, but I, I don't have a copy of the updated map. I got to go back to state and get some published. Uh, but yeah, purple is points of interest. I put those down in case any of them seem like they'd be, you know, where maybe a group would go or whatever. Um, I got to also update the uh, Stonehenge to Tibethenge, but, you know, that's not important. Uh, in terms of the brown ones, those are all buildings. Everything has, like I said, little details as to what it is. Um, red is any type of trails or hiking pathways. So these are trails into the glaciers. These are trails up any sort of mountain or through a mountain or around a mountain or hiking trails. And all of them show whether a horse can go through it or not. Wow. Uh, the black ones are just, that's the border between the west and the eastern frontier. How do you even get up to the eastern frontier? Well, you just go through the uh, west part, kind of, instead you of, go, you know, you how go up the, you go, the same normal you know route, you, you go, go to the, the red? Yeah, you go to the right and to the left. Oh, I have to go there. I haven't gone up anywhere east yet. Yep. Uh, and then the blue ones, there's dark blue and light blue. These are all camps. The light blues are small camps, and the dark blues are large camps. I specifically made this for you all, uh, in case you go up there searching for people. Um, you, you know, if you're searching for just two people, you can think, hmm, small camp. Uh, any, uh, it also states, like, how many chairs, things like that. Uh, same with big camps. Uh, big camps are basically two beds plus. Um, this is super I nice. I believe it was. But yeah, it allows you to basically see, okay, there's four tents there, four beds... We're searching for a group of six. It could be there, you know? Things like that. This is fascinating, Tibbet. You've done wonders with this map. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, like I said, that's a, um, the first original copy. Uh, I, I did add in a few things that I missed and or just decided to add. So eventually, once I get copies of those from the St. Denis Publishing Office, I'll, uh, I'll uh, give you and Dan that. Thank you very much. This... I think will really, really help us in the case that we need to uh, go up there and look for people. Yep, that's what it's for. And then, you know, also the trails, like if you know that someone fell down a glacier because there's... Uh, speaking of which, um, those bridges up there, don't ever put anyone on the back of the horses. Right, yeah. You know, yeah that I don't I know, know if about. you found that out. Okay, okay. Yeah, that I don't know about. Personal experience. <laughs> definitely personal experience <laughs> okay but yeah i would uh, study that map uh, especially the trails there's some trails there that people don't realize that are there because you know the scaffolding area where you, you there's that big area you, you get to pass the scaffolding area mm -hmm. many people don't realize you can get there on horseback wait like the part where you gotta jump across yeah you can get to the other side of that on horseback there's a uh, another small little hidden trail that you can uh, take across a small bridge on horseback. You can't go back the other way on horseback, but you can go into that area on horseback. 
So you so you don't actually need to jump the jump scaffolding? across nope. to get up that mountain. Nope. Nope. Okay, hold on. That's over here, isn't it? Uh, that one is going to be. Uh, let me let me just look over your shoulder. Here. You come in from there. Okay. Uh, you see, it's gonna be. See, they're all, you know. All kind of clustered together, right? Yeah, there's gonna be two large camps, kind of in that lip to the uh, that points out to the right. You know where the scaffolding would be. You see those two large camps? The yes, I believe on the left. You mean right? Uh. How am I going to explain this? I see a small camp and a large camp. No, no, no. Um, look for the point of interest that's caravan demise. Yeah, got it. Actually, even better. Look for the camp that is to the northwest. Uh, just kind of by itself, the large camp. To the it's going to be to the left of the uh, black one of the black pins. To the far left. Yeah. And then look just straight southwest, that first, uh, or sorry, southeast, that first uh, hiking trail. The first hiking see. trail to the southeast? Yeah, the first one that you see if you draw a line right to it from that large camp. It's labeled as hiking trail. Uh, it says trail entrance to another area of the frontier. Horses can be used cautiously. Yeah, that's going to be the beginning of the trail. Uh, you got to okay. go sl slow, and then there's a bridge, a uh, hanging bridge. Basically, you got to shuffle your horse onto that uh, just a little bit. You know, like go, you know, shuffle them side to side to get them comfortable on that bridge, and then they'll uh, go right over that. They won't go back across, though, so uh, you have to slide down from there. But that is the only way that you can get up into that whole area where you think you can only get there from jumping, but you, you can go there. Oh, man, that might come in real handy. Yep. Awesome. In case, in case you know you, I don't know you getting some weird shootout or something where there's multiple people down and you gotta, I don't know. I I can't I can't think of any scenario that someone would go up there to have a firefight, but you know. Yeah, probably not a firefight, but uh, I would really rather not have to jump across that that scaffolding because it usually goes poorly for me for some reason. <laughs> yep. But yeah, that's the trail that gets you up there. Uh, and then you'll have to slide down on the horseback if you want to get down. Okay. Thank you so much for this tidbit. This is amazing. Yep. All right. Well, good luck. I'll uh, eventually give you an updated one, but appreciate it that. Adds, it only adds like an extra camp and a trail. All right. Well, let's see you around, tidbit. Thank you. Yep. Uh, hundred percent. Boy would miss this good during it. I was in a way of weaseling it so the boy would be the same as Booker in the moment. It's fine. Then he learns some details. We'll be against it after. Everybody's going to Coulter. And then I'm sitting here like, well, I gotta go off duty because I gotta go to work. So, everybody's at Coulter and Maple, and I gotta go off duty. Gosh darn it. Do, 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 do. Now, we're gonna hit the black water because uh, as Chev telegrammed us um, she will be staying in Blackwater for a couple of days recuperating recovering for this boy Kerrigan would go as a fist fight in a cell I cannot picture boy Kerrigan forcing another or torturing another human um Uh, you know what? I don't think he would be the one. I, I don't think he would torture another. Mm. I don't think he would torture another person. Um, but I do think that he would back up Malone and Rabbit. I think he would back up Malone and Rabbit, but I don't think he would be the one to actually do anything like that. 
Maple's in a very tough position, right? Because sitting here with Maple, he believes that you know the, the dead end. Well, the dead end gang for him are a group of horrendous individuals. They are a deadly group of people. They are dangerous, um, and many of which should be hanged, right? Um, but at the same time, like, Maple doesn't really want to wish death on people. I know, I think we did say the other day that, uh, you know, we kind of would have preferred Peaches to be killed. But at the same time, like, Maple would prefer that not be the case. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, OP. So Maple's in a very interesting spot, right? It's because, like, he's not one that would torture. Never. I don't think Maple's ever one that would torture anybody, uh, even for information. Um, like, he's jaded, but he's not that far gone. Um, and especially, the thing is, especially now with Maple and, and having Chev, you know, it, it's kind of... So with Maple, what a lot of people maybe not may not have realized is that Maple has gone on quite the sort of arc in the background of everything going on, right? So when Maple first started, he was he was a lot more of a hopeful individual. Uh, when he was with Briar and all that, he was far more of a hopeful guy and and uh, a happier kind of go lucky guy with Briar. Then we lost Briar in November and from November until we got with Chev in like what was it? Was it March? I'm pretty sure we got with Chev after my subathon. I can't remember. I think we got with Chev after my subathon. Um but that whole time span for Maple, uh, Ego, thanks for the follow. That whole time span for Maple was all him sort of grieving and, like, ex like, kind of just sorting himself out, right? Then he had the Ariel situation and the Lizzie situation that, like, made things even more messy. Um, but with. Losing Briar, Maple really jaded and just kind of got more and more and more jaded. Um, and it just kind of kept going, right? Because for a long time, and the, the way the way Maple works is Maple needs a rock, right? And he needs somebody there to keep him secure. Um, and for a very long time, Maple did not have that rock. Maple didn't have anybody where he could turn and go to, like he did with Briar, to speak his thoughts and to get another opinion on things confidently and trustingly, you know, and he didn't have uh, anybody like that for a very long time. Um, but more recently, now that Maple is with uh, Chev, she has kind of begun to. Not not necessarily undo that jadedness, but to kind of direct Maple in the, you know, other options. Or other, not options, but the other perspective of things that he kind of closed his mind off to for a very long time. Because he didn't have an opportunity to go speak to people about it. He didn't, he didn't have anybody, he didn't have that rock. For a very long time, and because he didn't have that rock for a very long time, he kind of started wavering. Um, and getting far more stern and far more cold. Um, I believe that now with Chev, he is kind of finding that, that warmth again. And, and that sort of emotion again. Um, where he still is not going to waver to other people's emotion, but will be more open to his own emotion. But... Well, I say open to his own emotion only with, like, Chev. Really. Uh, 
So that's sort of uh, that's sort of Maple's stance right now. Maple's very uh, Maple's a lot more complicated, I think, than people realize. He's come a long way. Okay, I love. The Maple's suspenders always been red. Yes, they have always been red. Maple has always had these suspenders. Um, so yeah, that's sort of a little bit of an insight to uh, to Maple a little bit. Um, so yeah, that uh, there you go. That's sort of where Maple's perspective comes from and and standpoint on things is he's uh, he's pretty complicated. It's pretty complicated. Um, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to to Kaysen after uh, the spicy talk and scene uh, with Peaches there. It makes us in stream animal. Uh, so we're gonna go to Kaysen. Show him some love, you guys. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow's my day off. I take tomorrow off. I do not stream Thursdays. I try not to, at least, unless, you know, I have something scheduled. So, um, I'll be trying to, uh, stay off duty tomorrow and, and off of stream. Um, but I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we got a, a few really deep and meaningful scenes tonight, especially with Minx. Minx is fucking phenomenal. If you guys don't already, uh, you know, follow Minx or show her love, show her love. She is, uh, amazing. She's wonderful. She's a joy to be around. Um, so, I, uh, am going to head off to work, and I will see you guys, it'll be Friday night most likely, we'll be back, and, uh, with that, we also probably gonna have a little bit of Maple Chef time Friday night, and then we'll go from there. Um, I just realized, actually, forgot to mention, I'm gonna be doing a subathon this weekend, um, I'm gonna go 36 hours cap, going straight, not gonna be stopping. Um, we'll do 36 hour cap subathon because I was able to go 39 hours, uh, and then that's when I sort of started wavering quite heavily. So, uh, this weekend we'll be going 36 hours capped. Uh, it'll be a similar, um, rate of sub. Oh, uh, stream's going, but yeah, that's happening. More details in Discord. If you're not in my Discord, join it. It's down below. Go showcase it some love. Bye.